Hey everyone, it's Ali and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be going over five indie fragrance houses that I think are super amazing and that I think you should definitely get to know. These are five houses that I feel like don't get talked about enough and I think that their quality and everything they do is super cool and I think more people should look into them and definitely try them out. I feel like right now with everybody hurting, um, it's really hard with money and stuff. I think it's important to support indie houses who may be struggling as well. Not to say that these houses are struggling, but you know what I'm saying. It's good to support smaller businesses. And I think that this um, group here that I have that I want to talk about is an amazing group of fragrance houses that do amazing work, give great quality and just do fragrance right, which is a big thing for me. And I love everything about these. I have a total of six fragrances, even though I'm only talking about five houses, because the first one that I'm gonna talk about, the first fragrance house, um, has two lines, and I have a fragrance from each line that I'm gonna touch base on. And yeah, so that's what we're gonna get into. The first one that I wanna talk about is called Black Moon. And Black Moon is from Spitfire Girl. Now, funny story about how I came across this brand. I was working in a health food store. I was the front end manager at the time. The um, One of the other managers, me and her shared a desk together. Um, she had, she did the ordering and stuff. We had ordered some products from um, Black, or Spitfire Girl and they were like these crystal kits. They were super cute and we were gonna carry them in our store. And I remember they had sent her a sample of this perfume in particular, and I remember it sitting on her desk, and I went to go do some paperwork at her desk, picked it up, smelled it, fell in love with what it smelled like off the cap of the little atomizer. I sprayed it on because she was like, oh, you can have it if you want it. I sprayed it on, and I remember being kind of like, oh, this is a little odd. It doesn't smell anything like it smelled off the cap. And I was like immediately regretting my decision. Well, about an hour later, as I had sprayed on this spot, I kept coming back and smelling it and I was falling more and more in love with it. It was a dark, sort of gothic -y rose that was just so, so beautiful. And it ended up prompting a full-size purchase of this fragrance. And the bottle looks like this. It has this sort of Egyptian um, sort of picture on there. It says Black Moon at the top. It's really hard to tell because it is a black um, sort of paper decal, I guess. But this is nonetheless such a beautiful dark rose fragrance. You've got bergamot, violet, lemon, black rose, patchouli, geranium. You've got spicy black pepper, cedar, and amber. Now the cedar in this comes off as a burnt cedar note, which is what threw me off because I wasn't expecting it. When I had picked up the sample, I remember smelling it and getting this dark, sexy rose that just... Ugh, when I smelt it, it was so, so good. I was like, if I had a signature scent, that is what I want to smell like. And it was so, so beautiful. And then I remembered spraying it on. And when you spray this on, it's dark. It's a little brooding. It's very smoky. It almost smells like burned cedar. There is a very prominent sort of burnt cedar smell, but you just have to let it settle. That's what I'm telling you about this fragrance. If you work with this fragrance and it settles, it starts developing into the most sexy, beautiful, dark, slightly gothic -y rose fragrance. It's so, so gorgeous. When that rose finally shows up, it's slightly brightened by that bergamot. The violet adds this slightly like powdery, really romantic effect. That patchouli makes this fragrance last so, so long. This is a long lasting fragrance, you guys. When I wear this, it's an all day thing. That spicy black pepper adds a little bit of complexity and spice to the fragrance as well. I love this fragrance. It might not be for everyone, but for the ones that are out there that love gothic-y black rose fragrances, yo, get your hands on this one. So, so good, so, so sexy. I honestly love this one so, so much. Like I said, if I had a signature fragrance, it would probably be this one because it just smells so beautiful. There's something really erotic about this fragrance that's evocative of like a seductive, beautiful woman. Or even, I could see this working on a man, honestly. This is so, so good. If a man smelled like this, ooh, I'd put a ring on him so fast. It's not even funny. Definitely check this one out, especially if you're into darker fragrances. 
Don't be turned off by the opening of the cedar that's slightly burned. Let it settle on the skin and find out the magic behind this one because this is truly a magical fragrance in my opinion. I really like that one. The next one that I'm going to talk about was one that I had ordered from them as well. This was sort of just an impulse blind buy that I actually really enjoyed. This is from their number collection and this is number six. Now number six is really simple bergamot patchouli frankincense. This smells so so good. Honestly this smells like a really sexy hippie if that was a thing like I'm sure it is but this has like the most autumnal like scent to it. This reminds me of fall. It reminds me of leaves falling on the ground. There's something deep. There's something really sexy and resinous about this fragrance because of that frankincense and patchouli. There's a slight brightness because of the bergamot as well. This just smells so so good. I feel like this is a very bohemian chic uh, fragrance. This is what I would associate with someone who has that sort of aesthetic. If you love sexy, it's kind of fall-like fragrances that are going to be perfect for the fall, perfect for evenings, perfect if you want something deep and resinous that's really going to stand out. And I think number six from their number collection is a really beautiful one for you. This is really sexy. It smells like the outdoors, but in a sexy way, which is so hard to like describe. It's just so beautiful it's like the sexy outdoors in a bottle and i really like this one definitely worth checking out and also from spitfire girl just from their number collection now the next one that i'm going to talk about is from love potion magical perfumery i've talked about this brand before in my comforting uh, fragrance videos they are a company that i truly love i have so many of their fragrances as far as like uh, perfumes and um, their roll-on oils and I could literally go on forever talking about them. Like, I literally have a box full of their oils that, like, I absolutely love. Like, this one, Zombie Repellent, that I got from their Halloween collection a few years ago. It was a hedonine, um jasmine fragrance that was so, so amazing. Oh, it's so good. What I love about them and a little bit about this company, they are a um, store that's based off of Vancouver, Washington, I believe goals for that store for me to visit. I'm going to road trip down there one day because I really love the store. I've seen pictures of them on, or pictures of them on Instagram and like I just love the company in general, but they dabble in fragrance. They do perfume oils, they do uh sprays as well. They have crystals down there, tarot cards like it's a whole vibe down there and I want to go see it so bad. But their fragrances are something that I truly love. I have one that I'm going to talk about in particular that I think is super sexy and that anybody could wear, um, but I highly recommend them. Something else that I love about them is that every year, I think like for each season, they drop out new fragrance releases. And what I love about them is that they offer sample packs of all the fragrances that they drop. They drop one in the fall. I think sometimes they drop one in winter as well. They drop one in spring and they drop one for summer, like different collections. And each collection has like different scents in them and you can buy, um, sample packs that allows you to explore the collection and then buy the ones that you like. I think that's super cool and I love buying their sample packs and testing out all their fragrances. That's how I've ended up with so many of them honestly is because they have that option for you to buy so many, um, not so many, but to buy the sample packs. But the one that I want to talk about is one that I love so so much. This is such a sexy fragrance to me and it's called Unisexy. It's in the name, unisexy. It's unisex and it's sexy. And you guys, this is so good. This literally smells like the most comforting hug you could ever get. There's something really nostalgic about this fragrance. I don't know what it is, but it's so, so beautiful. It has this sexiness about it that it makes me want to cuddle. Like this fragrance literally makes me want to cuddle and I don't understand why. But this fragrance is just so, so good. Vanilla, sandalwood, maple, you've got tobacco and musk. It's a very simple composition, but my goodness, you guys. This literally is so, so beautiful. Wearing this in the fall time and like going out for walks, I feel so like elegant. I feel so sexy. I feel so different when I wear this. 
it's such a beautiful fragrance that it I love when fragrances put you in a certain mood or in a vibe or like change the way you feel for the day this fragrance literally changes the way I feel it changes everything about my attitude if I'm feeling really down I can spray this on and I immediately feel like I'm being hugged I feel comforted I feel loved it's such a beautiful fragrance it's vanilla heavy but that sandalwood in here is what I love I love this creamy sort of smooth sandalwood the maple note in this adds a little bit more of a sweetness to it. The tobacco adds a slight earthiness, but it's not a dirty earthiness. This is one of the cleanest, earthiest, just slightly earthiest scents I've ever encountered. The musk is beautiful. It creates this like haze around you that just feels like I said, like a comforting hug. I really love this. I never want to run out. I honestly need to get a backup bottle before this disappears because I think this one was from a limited edition run um, and they still have some bottles left. If I'm not mistaken, this came out in 2017. And like I said, every year there's like new collections that come out. So there's always new stuff, which I think is super fun and interesting. And I love collecting the little bottles. I think they're so cute. Honestly, I love the company. I've been buying from them from for years now. Um, that's why I have so much from the company. I started buying from them back in Texas. I had a friend that had um, some of their fragrances in her drawer and I happened to find them when I was looking for a brush. I asked her about them, tried them out, loved them. Went on the website, fell in love with all the weird names and the weird collections and I ended up buying from them. I've been hooked ever since. Check them out, you guys. Love Potion Magical Perfumery. And I'll also have everything linked down below so you guys can find it as well. The next one that I'm going to talk about was one that I had wanted for such a long time and every time I tried to go buy it, it was always sold out. This is from Seance Perfumes and this one is called Parlor Ghost. I love their sort of dark gothic um, aesthetic that they have for the brand. They even give you the fragrances in like these old time vintage -y bottles that like, how beautiful is that? Ghost Parlor was one that I wanted for so long. I'm such a lover of Halloween and everything spooky dooky. Like, I love Halloween. I love spooky stuff. This one was called Parlor Ghost just because it had the name Ghost in it. Like, I needed it in my collection. I literally have a ghost tattoo on my knee. That's how much I love ghost. But, like, I needed this one. This is a beautiful tea fragrance. My lovers of tea, you're going to love this one black tea bergamot lavender this has the most calming serene almost slightly frosted effect and it's frosted because of the brightness of the bergamot the type of bergamot this is mixing with the tea makes it sort of frosty feeling almost like frosted flakes on cereal but it doesn't smell like frosted flakes it literally smells like a sort of frosted tea dessert this is so, so nice. There's also a bath bomb that they sold at Lush when I worked at Lush um, a few years ago. I used to work at Lush in San Antonio, Texas at the North Star Mall. And I remember there was a bath bomb that smelt identical to this. I don't know which bath bomb it was. I remember loving that bath bomb. This fragrance smells just like that bath bomb and I absolutely love it. It's so calming, it's bright. There's something really beautiful and captivating. As the fragrance is described, it's hauntingly beautiful. I really do think it is. I love their bottles. I love all their fragrances that they have in their collection. Definitely worth checking out, especially if you're into that sort of vintage -y aesthetic that's slightly gothic and dark. Look no further. Seance Perfumes, definitely worth it, 10 out of 10. You guys get some in your life, I'm telling you. Now the next one that I'm gonna talk about is from a fragrance house I ended up finding on Etsy, thanks to one of my friends on YouTube. Her name is Evie and she has her own fragrance channel um, called Evie Smells. She's amazing, you guys should check them out. I discovered this fragrance through her and I adore this fragrance. It's from Pink Mahogany and it's called Tandem. Tandem is an amazing indie house. They give luxurious quality. The price points are so good for what you're getting. This is niche quality fragrance at its best. When I tell you this is good, I am telling you, this is good. 
Pink Mahogany is a black owned um, company. It's run by Chavalia. I hope I said her name right. I think it's Chavalia. And she is an amazing perfumer. She creates beautiful fragrances. After I got this one, I was like, I need to try more from her brand, which I'm going to be getting a lot more from her. That's how much of an impression this fragrance left on me personally. Pink Mahogany is a beautiful brand. You guys check them out. Support Chavalia. She's on um, Etsy. Definitely worth checking out. This has a Mojito Accord, which is consistent of lime and mint. You've got flowered rice, orange blossom, and soft velvety woods. You guys, this is so, so good. When I smell this, I think of summer parties. I think of people at a summer party where everyone's wearing all white. There's clean skin just, you know, in the sun. It smells like clean skin in the sun, wearing all white while you're drinking a mojito and your all white clothes still has a slight clean linen-y smell. That's kind of what I get from this. It's like clean linen, super white clean clothes, and mojitos. It's soft. It's like musky. It's so, so good. This one, the longer you wear it, almost becomes one with a skin. And it's so long lasting. And it's funny because this is like a soft fragrance, but it's not soft if that makes sense. It has lasting power and it projects. It creates a beautiful aura around you where you smell clean. You smell like a vacation because of that mojito accord. This is really, really good, you guys. This was the little hidden gem of like 2021 for me because I've been loving this and loving it pretty hard since I got it. I highly recommend you guys check out Pink Mahogany on Etsy. I will link where to find her down below. And I'm going to be trying more of her fragrances because I am in love with Tandem. And honestly, this is probably one of the best purchases I have made in this whole year. And I have um, Evie to thank for that because like, I probably would have never found this on my own. So thank you, Evie, and thank you, um, Chevalier from Pink Mahogany for creating this beautiful fragrance. And I am sorry if you're hearing the train because it's deciding to pass by as I speak. I live in the woods and there is a train track not too far from where I live. And for some reason, the train always decides to go by as soon as I film a video. Hmm, but yes. Definitely check this one out, 10 out of 10, you guys. Now the last one that I'm gonna be talking about is from Sinus Labs, another brand that's on Etsy. And this one is called Synth. This is what the bottle looks like. It's super interesting and cool. The name is on the side. It's like, it's so unique. Honestly, I love this gas mask on this like traditional, what is it like, Roman Greek statue. It's so interesting. My fans of ISOE Super Fragrances, this one is a one for you. This is beautiful. ISOE Super, Tonka Bean Absolute, and a Cashmere Cord. This smells so, so clean, so, so woody, so, so warm, so, so just nice. If you are a fan of uh, Molecule 01, um, this is sort of down the lines of Molecule 01, but you're not going to smell like pencil shavings. Um, you're going to smell woody still but almost like a woody, like cashmere hug. It's really, really interesting, really simplistic, but so, so good. Honestly, I bought it because of the bottle. I was so intrigued by this like aesthetic for all their bottles. I'll probably be getting a bit more from the company. I'm really interested in getting, um, I think it's called like Black Sheep or something like that. It's the one with the sheep's head on the bottle. Probably gonna get it. Definitely a really interesting, beautiful fragrance house. Like I said, you can find them on Etsy. This is really good. Simple, clean, woody, cashmere like warm, just, ugh, it's like a hug again. Definitely check them out. A really easy to wear fragrance, easily signature scent worthy, 10 out of 10. And those are all the fragrances I have for you guys. I'm gonna end this video here because the train is being very unforgiving. So till next time, if you want to get with me, I will put my Instagram down below. I will link where to find all these fragrances down below as well. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye.